Om Namah Shivaya Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Brahma and Vishnu said O Lord, please tell us the characteristic features of the fivefold duties beginning with creation. Shiva said, Out of compassion for you, I shall tell you the great secret of the fivefold duties. O Brahma and Vishnu, the permanent cycle of the fivefold duties consists of creation, maintenance, annihilation, concealment, and blessing. Sarga is the creation of the world. Stiti is its maintenance. Sanghara is the annihilation. Tirobhava is the removal and concealment. Anugraha, liberation from the cycle of birth and death, is blessing. These five are my activities, but are carried out by others silently, as in the case of the statue at the portal. The first four activities concern the evolution of the world, and the fifth one is the cause of salvation. These five constitute my prerogatives. These activities are observed in the five elements by devotees. Sarga, creation in earth. Stiti, maintenance in water. Sanghara, annihilation in fire. Tirobhava, concealment in the wind, and Anugraha, liberation, the blessed state, in the firmament of space. Everything is created by the earth. Everything flourishes by virtue of the waters. Everything is urged by the fire. Everything is removed by the wind, and everything is blessed by the firmament. Thus intelligent men must know the same. To look after these fivefold activities, I have five faces, four in the four quarters and the fifth in the middle. O sons, in view of your austerities, you too have received the first two activities, creation and maintenance. You have gratified me and are blessed, therefore. Similarly, the activities of annihilation and concealment have been assigned to Rudra and Mahesh. The fifth one of Anugraha, liberation, cannot be taken up by any other. All this previous arrangement has been forgotten by both of you due to lapse of time. Not so by Rudra and Mahesh. I have assigned them equality to me in form, dress, activity, vehicle, seat, weapons, etc. O oh, dear sons, your delusion was the result of your not meditating upon me. If you had retained knowledge of me, you would not have imbibed the false pride of being Mahesh yourselves. Hence, hereafter, both of you shall start reciting the mantra Aumkar to acquire knowledge of me. It shall quell your false pride as well. I alone have taught this great auspicious mantra. Onkar came out of my mouth. Originally it indicates me. It is the indicator, and I am the indicated. This mantra is identical with me. The repetition of this mantra is verily repeated remembrance of me. The letter A ah came first from my northern face the letter U from the western face, the letter N from the southern, and the Bindu dot from the eastern face. The Nada, mystical sound, came from my middle face. Thus the complete set cropped up in fivefold form. Then all of them united in the syllable Aum. The two sets of created beings, Nama, name, and rupa, form, are pervaded by this mantra. It indicates Shiva and Shakti. From this also is born the five-syllable mantra, Namashivaya. It indicates all knowledge. 
The syllables of the Panchakshara mantra follow the order of the letters A, U, etc. of Omkara. From the five-syllable mantra, the five mothers were born. The Shiro mantra is born of that. The three-footed Gaya tree also came out of the four faces. The entire set of Vedas and crores of mantras were born of that. Different things are achieved through different mantras, but everything is achieved through Omkara alone. By this root mantra, every enjoyment as well as salvation is achieved. All the royal mantras are auspicious and directly accord enjoyment. Nandikeshwara said, The Lord, in the company of his consort Ambika, assumed the role of the preceptor for Brahma and Vishnu. He placed his lotus-like hand on their heads as they faced the north, and slowly taught them the great mantra. The two disciples received the mantra by repeating it thrice, along with the requisite yantra and tantra duly expounded. Note, yantra is a mystical diagram possessed of occult powers. Tantra is a ritual, the chief peculiarity of which is the worship of the female energy of Shiva, personified in the person of his Shakti. This special energy, the Shakti of Shiva, is concerned with sexual intercourse and magic power. Mantra is a magical verbal formula. By way of Dakshina, fees, the disciples dedicated themselves. Thereafter, standing near him with hands clasped in reverence, they addressed the Lord, the preceptor of the universe. Brahma and Vishnu prayed, Obeisance to thee of the bodiless form, obeisance to thee of the formless luster, obeisance to thee, the Lord of everything, obeisance to thee, the soul of everything and of the embodied form, obeisance to thee, stated by the pranava, Aumkar, obeisance to thee, having pranava as thy symbol, Obeisance to thee, the author of the five duties. Obeisance to thee of five faces. Obeisance to thee, identical with Pancha Brahma. Obeisance to thee of fivefold functions. Obeisance to thee, the Atman, Brahman of endless attributes and power. Obeisance to Shiva, the preceptor, possessed of both embodied and bodiless forms. After eulogizing the preceptor in verses, Brahma and Vishnu bowed to him. Ishwara said, O oh, dear sons, the truthful extract of everything has been narrated to you with demonstration. You shall recite this Aung mantra, identical with me, as directed by the goddess. Your knowledge shall be stabilized. Permanent fortune shall stand by you. Recital of this mantra on the Chaturdashi day and on the day of Ardra Nakshatra will give you everlasting efficacy. The recital of this mantra at the time when the sun transits Ardra Nakshatra is millionfold efficacious. For worship, Homa and Tarpana, the last quarter of the star Mrigashirshas and the first quarter of Purnavasu must be considered on a par with Ardra. My vision is to be had at first light of dawn and within three muhurtas, two hours, twenty-four minutes thereafter. Chaturdashi is to be taken when it continues up to midnight. If it is only up to the early part of the night and joined with another thereafter, it is also recommended. Although I consider the phallic and the embodied forms to be equal, the phallic form is more excellent for those who worship. Hence, worship of Shivalinga is preferable for those who seek salvation. Others, too, shall install the phallic form with Omkar mantra and the embodied form with the five-syllable mantra, with excellent articles of worship and adore with due homage it will be easy for them to attain my region. Having thus instructed his disciples, Shiva vanished there itself. <laughs>